In this video, we're going to look at the Unit 2, June 18, um, vector force question. And you can see here we have three forces acting um, at a point or particle or whatever. And we want to find the resultant on direction of these three forces. Now, we've got very used to this now that uh, obviously the I direction, the J direction can be, uh, can be summed to find the overall uh, I and J direction forces. So... Overall, what we'll have is um, 2, 3 and 4i would obviously make 9i. And then 5 minus 22 minus 23 would be minus 40j. So the overall i and j components of the force are 9i minus 40j newtons. Now if I mark that onto a diagram, I have obviously 9 in the i and minus 40 in the j. So we're after our resultant force, which obviously is always is our resultant, uh, is our hypotenuse. And if you know your Pythagoras, we know that r squared is 9 squared plus minus 40 squared. That comes out to be r squared equaling 1681, which is a square number, <coughs> which happens to be the square root of 41. So R is 41 newtons. Now we want to find out our angle, which to the norm is to the I direction, so it's theta. So tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 40 over 9. So theta is the inverse tan of 40 over 9, which is our, gives an answer of 77.3 degrees. Now it's important that if you uh, don't show the negatives in your calculation, you have a diagram that clearly shows that theta 